I'm Anil Kumar. Let us explore dot product of vectors in R3. Here we are given a vector u, which is 1, 2, minus 3. We need to find a unit vector in the direction of u. And part b is a vector perpendicular to u. Unit vector has a magnitude of 1, so it's, it can be found by dividing the vector by its magnitude, right? So the unit vector, which could be written like this, is equal to the vector divided by its magnitude. That gives us the unit vector. So let's find the unit vector of the given vector u. So unit vector will be the vector which is 1, 2, minus 3 divided by the magnitude. Magnitude of this vector is square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus minus 3 square. Is it okay? That is how you find the unit vector, which is 1, 2, minus 3 divided by square root of 1 plus 4 plus 9. So, which is 14, right? So, 1 over square root of 14 times 1, 2, minus 3. Is it okay? Or I should write this as 1 over square root of 14, 2 over square root of 14, minus 3 over square root of 14. So that becomes the unit vector u. I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? So that's how you find unit vector. Now let's do part b, which is a vector perpendicular to u. Now, let's consider a to be perpendicular to v, u, then dot product of vector a and u should be equal to 0 if u is perpendicular to vector a, correct? The reason is cos theta, which will be in this case cos of 90 degrees, becomes 0, right? That's the whole idea. We don't know what A is, but we could write this as uh, the dot product as 1, 2, oh, I mean, I want to write 1, let me write 1, 2, minus 3 dot, the components be A1, A2, A3. So this is equal to A1 times 1, so we say A1, plus 2A2, minus 3, A3. And that should be equated to, so this implies this, and we have to equate this to 0, right? So equals to 0. So any combination of these A components resulting into a 0 will give us the dot product. So in R3, we could have many perpendicular vectors. The reason is, if you consider this line on the plane of the paper, then that could be perpendicular. This line is perpendicular, right? So, so different like lines. There are n infinite number of lines which could be perpendicular to a line in R3. That's the whole concept. Well, to find this, let's take few values of a, a2 and a3, calculate a1. We could do that, right? So, if I say a2 equals to 1, a3 equals to minus 1, then a1 will be equal to what? a1, let me substitute 1 for a2. You could substitute any value, okay? No restriction. Plus 2 times 1 minus 3 times minus 1, this should be 0. So a1, this is plus 2 plus 3 equals to 0, implies a1 equals to minus 5. Is that okay? So the vector could be, we can say vector A is equal to minus 5 and 1 minus 1. Okay? So you can find infinite number of combinations like this. You could take this as 0, for example, 1 here, and then the answer will be minus 2, right? Like this. You can calculate. So that is how we can find many vectors 
which are perpendicular to a given vector in R3. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you understand the strategy of finding a unit vector in the direction of given vector and a vector perpendicular to the given vector with this video. Thank you and all the best.